Good morning, Saints! <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning, Saints! Today is Friday! October 27, 2023. Happy birthday today to Brooke Gieselman, Brooklyn Marn, Mavery Neef, Connor O'Donnell, Therese Schoenenhofer, and Hudson Sparks. The Saint of the Day today is Saint Fru Frumentius. Saint Frumentius was sent to that land to the land of Saint Athen uh, Saint Athenius on his voyage to Ethiopia. He was shipwrecked. When brought to the royals of Ethiopia, they gave him a high-ranking job as a secretary. St. Frumentius was responsible for bringing Christianity to the nation. Now he is called Abuna, or the father of Ethiopia. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, mini corn dogs and mac and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Saints soccer downed 15-2 Sumner last night, 3-1 to to win their 20, 32nd regional title and their 22nd in a row. Andrew Muckerman, Miles My Law, and Cooper Welsh scored their goals. We will travel to DeSoto this coming Tuesday for their state quarterfinals. Girls volleyball is going to state. It will be verse it will be Lansing versus May South and St. James at St. James Ac and St. James Academy at Tony's Pizza Event Center in Salina. They will also be there tomorrow. So make sure to wish them luck. Football playoffs are here at home tonight at 7 o'clock versus Fort Scott. The theme will be Halloween costumes. There will be a bleacher creature. The cross country teams are heading to state tomorrow. The girls are coming into the meet as EKL runner ups and regional champions. Sophia Spinello has led the way with another regional title. Joining her on the podium were Erica Strathman, Lily Mock, Amelia Rittel, Emerson Lee, and Bridget Keegan. This is the 22nd year in a row the girls have qualified for state. The boys were second at EKL and third at regionals with two top five finishers, Lance Mead and Carter File. The boys are heading to the state championship meet for an astonishing 34th year in a row. The last time the Saints boys did not run at state was 1989. The second year... Uh, the school was open. Good luck, cross country. Pope Francis is calling for a day of prayer and fasting today for an end to the holy wo to the war in the Holy Land. Maybe lay off the between between class snacks and for peace today. The Blessed Sacrament will be exposed all day in the chapel for the in it's intention. Intention. Stop by during passing periods or lunch to adore the physical presence of Jesus. All teachers, students, and classes are welcome throughout the day. First Saturday prayer is November 4th, 8.15 a.m. to 10 a.m. Attend Mass at Nativity, then pray at Planned Parenthood. You will get two service hours for standing up for the unborn. Also, you can continue your service day by heading to St. Mary's Home for Mothers. There we provide five hours of service to each student. This organization provides housing, life skills, aid, and community to women who have chosen to have their babies. To sign up and get details of the St. Mary's Service Day, see Mrs. Loafman in room 124. Come pray and serve with us. Hey, Saints, tonight is our second annual Haunted Hallway. The doors for entry will open at Ooh, 9 what? p.m. and the entry will close at 10.30 p.m. The price is $5 for a regular entry, $15 for a Pass Pass, as well as $10 for a family entry and $25 for a family Fast Pass. Friday is a home, today is a home game. So, Saints, after the game, make sure you come to the Haunted Hallway. Anyone is free to come, so invite your friends from other schools and tell your family to, to come. All proceeds will go to the canned food drive next week. Have you lost any items since school started? Please look in the comments stage for items turned into SCA's lost and found. Today is the last day before all uncollected items will be donated to turnstiles. Teen Read Week is upon us and we want to celebrate. We will be having a book drive to support Hands to Heart KC. If you donate a new or gently used children's book on Tuesday, October 31st, you can dress in Halloween co colors or apparel. No costumes. You must wear uniform bottoms. Bring your books on Tuesday to participate in the fun of Teen Read Week. Students in Coach Hetzel's engineering class spent a day at KU Design Design Challenge this past Wednesday. Students completed aerospace, computer science, mechanical, chemical, and civil engineering areas against students from around the Midwest and Canada with a chance to win a $2,000 in scholarship money. David Dodder and Suzanne Loomis finished in first place in the civil engineering competition. Jacob Menzi and Molly McCarthy finished third in the chemical engineering competition. Great job, Saints. Now it's time for the dad joke of the day. What do you call a pony with a sore throat? What? A little horse. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Halo Morning. Oh, now it's time for our countdowns. There's only four days until Halloween. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Emily. I'm Carter. And I'm Isaac. Signing, Signing off. Remember, stay classy, Saints, and together we shine.